everyone, my name's Slick. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to go over the Luminous system. We'll go over how to upgrade them, how to obtain them, what benefits they grant, and I'll throw in some recommendations. Now before we continue, I post Elyon and other content every other day. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell, and like the video at the end if you enjoyed it. Thanks. So what are Luminous? It's considered a type of summon. It grants bonuses depending on its grade. Luminous can be anywhere from grade 1 to grade 5. Each grants more stats as its grade increases and unlocks a new skill per each grade. There are a total of 11 different Luminous. We'll be covering each of them so you can understand what each provides and which you should focus on upgrading to benefit you the most. Each Luminous can be any of the rune colors. All of them at grade 1 grant you one rune attribute point. Now from grade 2 to grade 5, Altar offers you max weapon attack, magic power, critical hit power, and critical hit rate. Arrow offers power of projectiles, critical hit rate of projectiles, damage to monsters, and critical hit power of projectiles. Compass offers you power of ground target skills, critical hit rate of ground target skills, damage to monsters, and critical hit power of ground target skills. Dragon offers you PvP damage, decrease incoming critical hit damage, decrease incoming PvP damage, and decrease skill cooldown. Eagle offers you acceleration or attack speed, accuracy, energy recovery per second, and skill attribute points. Lyra offers you healing given, continuous damage and healing duration, continuous damage and healing power, and magic damage. Lynx is going to offer you power of rear strike, critical hit rate of rear strike, damage to monsters, and critical hit power of rear strike. Corona is going to offer you max weapon attack, physical damage, critical hit power, and critical hit rate. Hydra is going to offer you acceleration or attack speed, dark magic damage, physical damage, and HP absorption or lifesteal. Shield is going to offer you defense slash magic resist, max HP, incoming healing, and HP absorption or lifesteal. Crux is going to offer a damage decrease if your HP is below 50%. Dark Magic Damage, Physical Damage, and HP Absorption or Lifesteal. Now as you noticed, every time your grade of your Luminous goes up, each stat that's offered is also increased with that grade. Now how do we obtain Luminous? After completing the quest that introduces you to Luminous at level 35, you will receive one free one. As of the November 27th patch, there are less Luminous obtainable by free to play. However, you can still obtain them through the Pioneer Token Exchange and the Victorious Medal of Honor Exchange. You can also buy these Luminous from the Ruby Shop for 500 rubies each if you choose, but this is not required. Pioneer Tokens are received upon completing the daily capture ship quests. You can gain a max of 805 of these Pioneer Tokens per day, so you could essentially buy the Luminous from the shop after two days if you max this out. Victorious Medals are received through every win in Arena 2v2 and 3v3 matches. There's a Luminous Selection and Random Box offered here. I recommend going for the Selection one first, and I also highly recommend whichever you choose, that you choose one under the Fate rune. Why Fate? This Luminous will give you rune attribute points in whichever rune you choose. Fate is the most sought after rune to reach 33 points first. Upon reaching 33 points, you can activate an attribute that gives you plus 9 points in all other rune slots. Luminous require other Luminous to be used as materials to upgrade them. To explain this system, I'll be using the calculator from a spreadsheet that was made by Kamikaze or I Tank You Shut Up and Flame Haze. I'll leave this in the description. Essentially, to upgrade a Grade 1 Luminous to Grade 2, you need to use two Grade 1 Luminous as materials for a 100% chance at success. For a Grade 3, you need two Grade 2s for a 100% chance and so on. Your Luminous will not be destroyed or downgrade if you fuse at lower than 100% chance for those of you who prefer to gamble at lower odds. As you can see, to reach a tier 5 at 100% odds, you will need a total of 81 tier 1 Luminous. Now before the November 27th update, we were offered 7 Luminous per week. Given you couldn't choose the exact one you wanted, even after being able to choose our own, I still feel like 3 from 7 is a huge change, and I would definitely like to see at least 5. Not every Luminous is going to benefit your class or be considered the best overall. For example, for the class I'm playing, the Gunner, the Arrow Luminous is seen as the PvE Luminous. 
the Dragon is known as the PvP Luminous, and the Corona is known as the PvX Luminous, meaning it's an all-around useful Luminous. Each Luminous has its strengths and weaknesses. This is where you determine which stats you'd like to have and move forward with the Luminous of your choice. For anyone wanting to know what everyone in your class is using, I highly recommend joining the Elyon official Discord and asking the question in the respective class channels. From my experience, the majority of people are very willing to help each other out in understanding the game, so I cannot recommend joining this Discord enough if you like to theorycraft or like knowing what's considered the current meta. Now as mentioned before, the changes to the Luminous system will make it harder to get to grade 5 for free to play players, but it isn't unachievable. I do hope that these changes are revisited and more ways are added to gain Luminous, but until then, I hope this guide serves you well and that you've learned enough about Luminous to help you going forward. If you feel I deserve it, please consider dropping a like and comment what you thought about the video. I post Elyon guides and other content every other day, so if that interests you, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell. I would really appreciate it. That's going to do it for today's guide. I want to thank you very much for your time, and as always, happy grinding on Elyon. Peace.